in this video today, I am going to be going over an in-depth look at the crafting system. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am I does this. Looking to start using the crafting system, and would like to learn a few things before wasting resources. Well, you've come to the right video, as I will be going over in-depth how the crafting system works. So without further ado, let's get it. In order to start crafting, you will need to have met with and recruited Dr. Zahidi into your camp. You do this through the story quite early on. Talk to him and he will give you the option, I need to upgrade my gear. For the armor portion of the crafting, I am going to be using the pre-order bonus items as an example. If you don't have these items, any type of gear works the same. First things first, the attributes of an item will not be changed, only upgraded. Take this Earthborn Renegade's mask as an example. There is no option to change its attributes, only to raise it. But let me get into that a little bit later on. What I would stress I want to make clear is, do not improve the rarity of any item until you have maxed this level to your current level because if you improve its rarity before leveling the item, it uses your more important resource to level your item up, which is your titanium. Let me show you. As you can see, on the blue rarity, it costs lever to upgrade the level of the item. Once you improve its rarity to purple, it will start to cost titanium to level. Also, this goes the same for raising the attributes. If you raise the attributes before leveling the item to your max level, it will reset and you will have to raise the attributes again. So the order of upgrading should be as follows. Level up the item to your current max level, improve the rarity of the item, then raise its attributes. In short, always level your items to your current max level before upgrading anything else, as this in the long run will cost you less resources. Next up, the mod gear tab. This tab is to change one specific mod on an item. On blue rarity gear, you can only ever have one mod. But once you upgrade it to purple rarity, you gain an extra mod, giving you two. Now from here, you can choose which mod you want to change, but only one is changeable. Take for instance, I just upgraded this piece of gear and it gave me the option to choose from three random mods. Now I can go and change one of the mods that I do not want on that piece. I would much prefer to keep the ready for anything mod on this piece. So I will change the reforging bullets mod to something more suitable to my build. Since I am a Technomancer, let me just change this mod to something I use on my build. This specific piece doesn't match the attributes I want for my current build. But for future purposes, this will work well with a healer build I have in mind. So I am going to add the increased damage to the cryo turret mod. As you can see, once changing the second mod slot, it locked the first mod slot. And if you hover over the mods again, replacing slot 1 is grayed out. Moving on to the weapons crafting, everything I mentioned in the armor crafting applies here also. The only difference is the swap variant tab. In terms of what this does, it alters the way the weapon handles. Take for instance, this submachine gun. Its current variant is tactical. If I open the swap variant tab, I can change it to standard. This will swap the firing mode to full auto. A quick tip to be able to tell which firing mode your weapon is currently in is by looking at the bullets on the bottom left of the weapon image. One bullet means single fire, two bullets is burst fire, and three is full auto. It also changes its clip size, RPM, recoil, etc etc. As for light machine guns, the firing mode does not change, but more so how it handles. Standard variant seems more like a middle ground variant with moderate clip size and moderate handling. The stabilizing variant is more of a laser beam variant, allowing you to stay on target longer but with less damage and clip size. 
The suppressing variant is like a Rambo variant. Just hold the trigger down and keep the enemies behind cover so your teammates can flank them, I'm guessing. So more so a team variant. Pistols have an extra variant, a high caliber variant, which more or less turns the pistol into a better suited mid to long range type. Legendary weapons cannot have their variants altered. You can change variants as much as you want to test which works for you as long as you have enough iron resources to do so. And that ladies and gents is an in-depth guide to the crafting system. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found it to be informative and helpful towards you starting your crafting to make better builds, please leave a like, subscribe and turn notifications on Just do it! to support me and to bring you more of these videos. Thanks for watching. I does this.